Hi everyone, it's Pebbles and welcome back to my channel. And we are continuing on with the decluttering of my makeup. So now we are going to be tackling my eyeliner products. Okay, so let's start with the liquid liners that I have right here. I have two e.l.f. liners. I forgot I even had these. So they get really good reviews. This one's still good. It's very pigmented. So I'm going to keep that one. And how about this one? This one looks like it's new. Okay, I'm keeping both of these. I think I need to get using these because I totally forgot that I had picked these up. So I have two liquid liners from e.l.f. keeping those. I have this Sephora liner that I picked up. And this is one of those felt tip liners. Absolutely love this. I think it works really well. And I think that this, you know, it is a little bit more on the expensive side. And um, I think it's comparable to the Stila. So I am keeping that because I use that on a daily basis. I picked up the Physician's Formula liner. This one here is also another dupe for Stila. And that's that one right there. It works well too. It's not as dark as the e.l.f. or the Sephora though. If you see very closely, it's got a little bit more of a gray hue to it, but it's it. I've used this for a while, so it could be just because it's coming to the end of it, but I absolutely love this, and it is a good dupe for the Stila uh, All Day Liner. Picked up one of these waterproof e.l.f. eyeliners, and this one looks like it is done, so I am going to throw that out because look how, look how light that is. Seriously, like, yeah. You can tell that this one's finished. This was actually really nice. It just didn't last very long. So that one's going to be tossed. I just picked this Essence one up and this is the waterproof eyeliner pen and this was $2.99. This is actually really nice and it does last a long time. So this is the felt tip. I'm keeping that one. Just bought it. This one here is another Essence. It's the super fine eyeliner pen. I just picked this one up as well. And this one actually is still sealed. So obviously I'm going to keep that. This is the NYC liquid liner. I think I'm getting, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one. I found that this one was really messy to work with and it was hard to get a fine line with it. There's still a lot of product in here, but it's, it's quite old. So I'm going to toss that one as well. I have this one here, Precision eye definer pen and this is from this is actually pretty good still so I think this is actually part of my star looks this might be my star looks box uh, liner so I can finish it this is my Jordana fabu liner look at that I didn't have that for very long and look at it sucks I know a lot of people rave about this liner but it does not last some people actually have a reaction to this throwing this out because not my favorite would not repurchase that I have another Sephora li liquid liner and this is kind of like in a khaki color she really pretty look at that sparkle on it let's keep that all right we're gonna keep that one now we're gonna move on to these ones here I got this one in my ipsy bag this is a shimmer liner um, I think this is really pretty for the summertime like if you have like the blues, look at how pretty that is. I'm going to keep that because it's always nice to have these different colors in your collection. And um, yeah, I don't wear it very often, but it's always nice to have that option. I did pick this one up after receiving that one. When I went to Jersey, I went to a beauty supply store and I picked this one up. And this is like a purpley color. And that's pretty much brand new. I haven't even used it. I'm going to keep that one too. And then I have this one here from Mac. It's another teal one. I go through these spurts where I think, oh yeah, I'm going to wear color. And then I never do. But look at that. Look how pretty that is. Definitely going to keep that one as well. And then these two are from Gosh. This one's not even open. So I'm going to keep that. It's a nice cobalt blue. Because again, I go through these spurts where I say I'm going to wear blue. And then I never do. But anyways, this one's a green one from Gosh. And I actually think, well, I'm going to keep this because I think this is good for, um, uh, what do you call it? Halloween. Because I think I want to be a witch this year for Halloween. <laughs> I'm a witch every year, every day of the year, but what the hell? Yeah, I'm going to keep this. It's a little goppy, but you know what? If I don't use it for this Halloween, I'll toss it. 
Then let's move on to these products right here. These are my jelly type of products. Now this is a Starlux. Now they claimed that this was an actual liner, but you could use this, I guess, as a, as a base for eyeshadow. And this is pink. So I'm actually going to keep this because I think that this is really pretty and I, I don't, I won't be using this as a liner because I just can't see myself putting this color as an eyeliner on my lips, on my eyes. But as a base, if you're ever wearing pink, I think that's going to be really pretty. So I'm going to keep that. This is a liquid liner or a um, gel liner that I got from my Ipsy bag from Caitlin. This is a nice, pretty, uh, deep aubergine plum color, purple. And the way you apply this is it's got its, the brush is right attached, which I love. So I like this because it's a nice, dark, pigmented liner. And this Caitlin um, brand is excellent. And they're kind of expensive. My NYX gel liner in black, this stuff is really good. I've been using this and I'm trying to use this up before it dries up. So this is what I'm using right now. Really like this one. And I would recommend this and repurchase it because it does not transfer onto my eyelid, like on the top of my lids. I just purchased this one here. It's the Essence Gel Liner. I'm not even going to open it, but everybody rants and raves about it. And finally, my Shoppers Drug Mart had it in stock, so I picked one up. I'm going to toss this makeup forever. I'm so upset. I bought this when I went to IMATS back in 2013. And seriously, this has a lit, this I thought would preserve the liner, but it is so, it's still creamy and it seems creamy, but honestly, see how nice and dark it is. I'm mad at myself because this stuff, when I use it with my liquid, like with my, um, eyeliner brush crumbles. So let me try it again this week and see if I can salvage it at all. Um, if any of you guys know how to salvage this stuff, let me know because I would love to know. This stuff was expensive and you know what? It's a really nice gel liner and I hate the thought of throwing it out because there's so much product still. In. This one here is from Bare Minerals. Uh, I believe it's Bare Minerals. Pure Minerals, sorry. This is a gel liner, but honestly, I totally forgot I had it. And look at it. It's completely, completely dried out. I don't have the energy to try to save this. And honestly, um, I don't really wear brown, so it's going. I have to toss this. Look at the mess I've made. <laughs> and then this is the Laura Mercier. This is the cake liner. So you add a little water to this. And then what you do is you tight line with it. And this product is amazing. If you're looking for a good tight lining product, I would check out the Laura Mercier tight lining. And it is called Black Ebony Eyeliner. And you might like it. It's It takes some time to learn how to use this. But once you've finessed the technique, it's amazing. So now let's go into my pencil liners and I'm going to just wash up a little bit and be right back. Okay, all nice and clean. Let's get on with it. So now I have these neutral color here. So these I usually use in the waterline. These are really nice. This is the Rimmel and then I've got the Cargo. I'm going to keep these because they do work nicely in the, in the waterline underneath. Keeping those. I have these three. They're more of a white. These are good bases. I've got the Jumbo Eye and Milk. This one here is from Starlux. Their Starlux eyeliners and lip liners are amazing, keeping that. And then I have an Avon Glimmer Stick. And you know what? I really like the Glimmer Sticks from Avon. This is another white one. And again, it's just got that nice goldy white. And sometimes depending on the look that you're creating, I think this is really pretty too. So keeping all three of those. Now we're going to go on to the brown colored liners. I've got a few here. Um, we're going to keep these. Uh, these are all the brown liners. I have this one here from Hard Candy. It is a brown and it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. Really pretty. It's got like some sparkles. I don't know if that shows up. Very pretty and um, nice on the eye. You can actually use this as a base. And um, I think it's a very pretty eyeliner with the with the sparkle. I think it's really pretty. I'm going to keep that one. Um, and then we have this one here from Lancome. 
really a nice Lancome products are so creamy look at how beautiful that liner is keeping that one I have this one here from Rialto in chestnut I am actually going to put this in my purge like my move pass forward I have this one and that one there has never been used it's open it's not even open so that one's going to be put away put in a future giveaway I have this one here smooth shadow from Elizabeth Mott I got this from my ipsy bag and look at that isn't that a beautiful shimmer so I'm going to keep that as well because I think that's a pretty color for the summer this one's a NYX color in the color nectar and that one is like a beautiful copper color so I'm going to keep that as well this one here is prestige and it is in the color like it's like a a brown as well and that's like almost a black brown but I am going to pass that on so you can see that's that one there I'm going to pass that one on I have this one from Avon and this one here is a brow liner which should go in my brow my brow um my brow uh section so let's just put that with my brows we'll pretend you didn't see that one this one here is from julep so one end is brown and one end is black and this is a really nice creamy liner and i like the fact of having two liners together because this way you can use this for travel so definitely going to keep this one here and then the last one is another star looks and this again is brown and that is so creamy so definitely keeping that so going to keep four out of the I'm going to keep all of these and I'm and I'm purging two the next ones are my blue liners again I go through these phases you know I'm going to wear blue I did I do wear some blue so this one here is from Annabelle and it is in the color Curacao and it's this really pretty turquoise color as you can see right there but I think I'm going to put this in the maybe pile <clears throat> this one's a NYX color and this one is a teal color I'm gonna keep this one um, I think it's really pretty and I think I can use that I will use that this one here I know I use this one's from uh, Avon it's a glimmer stick and it's this deep navy color I use this all the time um, we'll keep that one this one here is a Jordana easy liner in sterling blue and um, to me, this is almost the same color as the, uh, I, I'm not going to open it because it's not open yet, but it looks very similar to the Annabelle. So keeping that one, this one's another uh, NYX color that I purchased. And again, look at that. That is a gorgeous cobalt blue or whatever color you want to call it, but that's a beautiful peacock blue. Maybe I'm going to keep that one. This one's another glimmer stick from Avon and it's the same color. I know I stocked up on these because I really, really like them. So definitely going to be keeping that one. I have another Starlux one that's in the blue. And this is again, a navy color. Gonna keep that. The Starlux, unbelievable. If you subscribe to Starlux, their liners are amazing. This is a Jordana liner and that one is in like a deeper navy gonna keep that this one is a Avon super shock liner look how deep that one is Wow, this one's really creamy that is super shock need to use that one I haven't used that one but this one might be a nice base on the lid when you're doing a smoky eye I gotta start using that and then this one here is a Sephora liner look at this beat up but um, this one I used tons of it I just need to sharpen it but I think you know what I'm gonna let this one go probably throw that one out I don't think anybody wants that one and then this one's another Annabelle which is Curacao didn't I just have that one? Oh, I just showed you that one I must have put it back in yeah okay so this one here is the Curacao so am I gonna keep this one no you know what I think I'm going to um, I'm going to pass this one on as well all right so that's the blues now let's go into the greens I don't have very many green liners so I might not purge any too many of these ones but here we go so here's the green liners I have this one here from Avon 
It's another glimmer stick and it's actually a really pretty green. It almost looks like a little bit of a forest green. So I'm going to keep that one. This one here is from Gosh and oh my goodness, I don't know if I, I can even actually yeah, this one here is from Gosh and it needs to be I'm going to keep that one because it's a little bit of a khaki green, like an olive green. This one is an Annabelle. And I'm going to pass this one on. Yeah, I'm going to pass that one on. This one's another Annabelle. Actually, this is more of a khaki green as well. But that's a pretty one. It's got a little bit of a metallic to it. I'm going to keep that one. And then I've got this really pretty green from Starlux which is a, li a lot lighter. And so there, that's like a celery green. So we'll keep those ones there. So I purged one of those. The next ones are the purples. So here we go, here are my purple liners. Purples and grays, okay, these are gray. Okay, so here are my purple liners. I have two of these Starlook ones. I got one from my Starlux box and one from my Ipsy bag. This is a really pretty lilac color. But I know I'm not going to use this a lot, so I am going to keep the one I've used and um, put the other one in a giveaway. And this one is still sealed, so that'll be in a giveaway. Then I have this one, um, this aubergine one from Rialto, and that's this color right here. I'm going to pass that along. I have this one here from Annabelle. I'm going to pass this one on too. We'll never wear that. This one here is a glimmer stick from Avon. Let's see what you're like. Yeah, I'll keep that one. Look how pigmented. These, these glimmer sticks from Avon are amazing. I'm going to keep that one. And then the last one is another glimmer stick. From now we're going to go into these, uh, these other colors, which are like gray. I've got gray and black all mixed up. So let's just do this together. All right, so these two here, I'm actually, these are from Avon, and these tips, these are basically good to set your shadow with, like if you're going to be using it as a base. So I keep these just for Halloween because I don't want to use my really good shadow, my, my really good makeup for that. So I'm going to keep these so if I do a Halloween look, I have those for Halloween. I'm going to go into the gray colored um, liners. I have this one here from Starlux and I already swatched it. It's this really pretty silver color. Don't have anything like that in my collection so I am keeping that one. And then this one's a Pacifica liner that I got from my Ipsy bag and it's a little bit deeper and it's more of a charcoal. So I'm, I'm going to keep that one as well. Now we've got some black liners and like more uh, darker color. Okay, this is the NARS Larger Than Life liner. And look at how nice and deep and dark that is. So definitely keeping that one. And that one's called Larger Than Life. Have this Buxom liner. And this one is more of a thicker liner. And I think that this one here is good if you're going to use it as an all over lid color if you're doing a smoky eye. This is a Makeup Forever liner and this is really nice too. It's very creamy and I'm keeping that one. This one here, I haven't opened it yet, yet but it is a black, black Makeup Forever liner, keeping that. These three are Urban Decay. I'm going to keep all of these. These are the 24-7 uh, Glide-On. I got all three of these um, from my Ipsy bag. So I have Zero, Zero, and Black Velvet. So I'm going to keep all three of those. This one here is a Starlux Black Liner. Again, Starlux has very nice, very nice pigmentation, creamy, glide on nicely. This one is a MAC, and it is black with silver glitter in it. I'm going to keep this. Keep that. Here's another MAC black liner. Very deep, dark blue-black. Like, this is extremely black. Love that as well. Here is a Scandalize Rimmel black. This one is also very creamy and keeping that as well. Now these ones are all of my Annabelle 
I have to, oh wait, before we go to Annabelle, this one is the Marc Jacobs. I got this because of YouTube, and this one's a nice one as well. So that's that one. And then these are all of my Annabelle liners, which I have here. I'm going to keep all of these because I really like the Annabelle liners. And before I started using gel, I, these are where the liners I always use. And then I have this one here, which is, uh, I think this is Avon, isn't it? Yeah, this is another Avon in black ice. So it's a little bit more, I've got glitter in it, keeping that, I haven't even opened that one. And then these three, I've got an NYC and I've got the Beautylish. I'm going to, I'm going to pass on the Beautylish. Those are from uh, Sally Beauty. Let me just swatch this for you. I am going to pass these ones on. Because you know what? I, I don't. I don't use pencil very much and they're pretty much brand new. Um, I'll sharpen them and then pass those on. And then the last one is this NYC, which is pretty much brand new. I haven't even used that, but let's just swatch it. That one actually is very creamy as well. I think I'm going to actually pretty much, I think I'll keep this one. Anyway, so this is what I'm going to be keeping. Still quite a bit of eyeliners, but um, yeah, there you go. So that is what's happening. Pass on, keep, and toss. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Ciao for now.